Abinav, good luck. I knew Nabinav when I went to college in Texas, friend of uh, friend of ours. All right. B3, let's develop this. I'm distracted. Retro Diction says I'm high on shrooms, but I'll try to learn. I, uh, I did something I, <laughs> I had a, I had a date this week and during my date, I, I went to the bathroom and tried mushrooms, but the date was successful. So I'm not sure if I should feel bad or not for doing that. <laughs> I disappeared. <laughs> Wasn't... <laughs> I don't know why. I'm making bad decisions these days. <laughs> Someone's like, I did cocaine at a holiday work party. No, but that's expected. If somebody disappears to the bathroom with a bunch of guys, it, you know what they're doing. Unless it's in Berlin and Berghain, then somebody might be peeing in somebody's mouth. But... Mushrooms in the bathroom during a date is not common. That's not common behavior. But I, I don't, but it, it went well. I don't know why I did it though. I can't, I don't know why I did it. Yeah, I'm just saying. All right, so here we're just going to trade off our bishop and go knight e5. Then d3. I don't like, so like d4 is more of the stonewall structure, but my bishop here is blocked when I go d4, so we're going to keep it on d3. Then we go knight f3. We're going a journey. I'm on a journey here. Knight g5, and I'm going to actually rook lift. I'm going to rook lift. I don't feel bad about it. Nope. This, there is transparency, you know. Hate it or love it, there is going to be transparency here. What should I do? I'm gonna go h4. It's not a move I necessarily want to play. Okay, let's see. No. My opponent's playing well. I don't like that. Check. My attack fizzled out and it's led to nothing. Holy smokes. Okay. This guy's playing super well all of a sudden. Oof. No, 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 I have 16 seconds, and this is not looking easy. Let me tell you. Trying my hardest here, guys. Check. Check. <sighs> Let's continue. The bird. Uh, one second. I'm 
I'm gonna put on some Justin Bieber <laughs> to torture people. Oh, you're going here. I'm gonna play the stone wall. Castle. C3. There we go. Block is uh, being pretty greedy with their space. So I'm gonna just shove a knight in and uh, leave it there. Oh, capture towards the center and open up the F file. Let's go. Let's bring the queen in. The dark squares are ripe. There's no dark square bishop for uh, for black. So they should be in trouble here. There's no dark square bishop. So I'm gonna, this bishop's gonna jump in soon. My knight's coming here. Yes. I'm threatening this. I'm threatening to recapture, maybe. Maybe take here. We'll see. But black is way behind in development. So we are gonna... We're definitely gonna harass. I'm actually gonna take here. It looks risky. It is risky. But I wanna... I'm gonna go for that rook. Yep. Ah, that's cute. But I can just take this. Develop the bishop. But he's not too happy, probably. Let's just take this. Queen is offside. I'm going to anchor it in with h4. My queen is here to say hi as well. White to move. Where do I put the lady? Bishop's covering this. Yes. Good job. Queen c8 check. Can black block? I don't see anything. Can they move their king up? Nope. That's checkmate. Shadow vit. Good luck, sir. I'm gonna fianchetto this bishop. It's kind of stonewall, but why is the pawn on f6 and not f5? Tisk tisk. Um. I'll fianchetto my light squared bishop. Whoa. Whoa. Only pushing pawns. Only pushing P. Okay. Let's go for uh, E4. I've never seen this setup before. I mean, uh, it's not a hippo. It's not a stone wall. It's a hybrid of everything, hey? All right, let's go queen e2. I want a queenside castle and attack the king. Line things up. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, g4, I think I'm going to... Just move my knight out of the way and uh, I have more targets now. h3. Now h5 is going to be a target. If pawn takes, maybe even bishop f3. Ignoring the pawn and going for the h5 pawn. Alright. I think I can just grab this pawn. I could castle first, but... Am I really going to say no to a juicy pawn? Don't think so. Am I really going to say no to this? Pawn takes, pawn, rook... Uh, they don't have enough attackers. Yeah. yeah. There we go. What's black doing here? Okay, now we queenside castle. And now, start to trade because we're up to two pawns. So now we can start trading things. Excellent. Good habits, guys. Even though we're doing a different speed run, still try to apply some of those uh, building habits that Amon told us about. 
Okay, this rook has a whole file, so I'm going to go... Which square? I'm going to go all the way down. Right here. And now this bishop is pinned. So what's the move? Pin the bishop. Done. What's the next move, Airbus driver? G7. Correct. Well done. Am I threatening to take this? Yeah, but more, maybe I'm actually just going to queen instead. Don't even need to take. If I take, they'll sacrifice. I'm going to make a second lady. That's not checkmate, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, let's go bring the knight in, attack the queen. And this bishop's not doing anything. So let's improve it. And this lady's not doing anything, so let's bring her in as well. And we're gonna... <laughs> we're going in. We're going in. We're gonna just stack all of our pieces on here. Watch this. Check. And then this bishop and queen battery. Check. And now this rook slides in. Check. And now the queen and bishop take. Check, mate. Good game. The bird. Okay, we've been playing the same systems. Let's mix it up. Oh man, they went for the stone wall, eh? So, you know what? Let's fight stone wall with stone wall. I'm gonna lose a move because I already played d3. But I'll fight their stone wall with my own stone wall. I'll cross swords. We'll cross swords. We can do that. I'm pulling my bishop back. Okay, so this position. I want to demonstrate something. I'm going to give away my bishop for their knight. So they have a bishop, I have a knight. That's all there is. But my knight is on an outpost that that bishop can never touch. Like this, this is a good knight. That's a bad bishop. And uh, immediately it pays off. But if it didn't, I was going to squeeze him. That was a bad bishop. And now we go here. Chase. Perfect. But I missed the instructional moment. The point is, this position is... I like White's position. We have a strong outpost for the knight that can never be, never be harassed. And this bishop is stuck behind its own pawns. And even if it one day gets to h5, it's not the most impactful diagonal. Plus c6 is weak. So White has a big advantage from the opening. And I win. All right, Alan, good luck. Hello, April. All righty, so let's go for D3 and E4, if, the, if I'm allowed. I've been allowed to play that. When that happens, I put my bishop on E2. I keep my bishop on this diagonal. We go for a quick castle. And a quick transfer of the queen over to h4. Go for a kingside attack. I'll play c3 just to take away these squares. And king h1. Just to never worry about a check. It's a bit like the Grand Prix. Maybe I should have taken with a knight, because this is, but uh, I'm gonna go f5, 
Probably. Yep. Then bishop h6, then knight g5, and attack. It's a bit like a Grand Prix. Knight g5 next. I'm not going to be very nice. I'm here to attack. Giving the check isn't what I want. I want knight g5. I want checkmate right here. That's what I'm interested in. It could backfire, but uh, yeah. Knight g5. It's not over yet after knight g5. That's a great move. Takes bishop. My opponent's playing well. Let me try this. I'm hoping they play knight g3 and forget about the fork. Or I want to take back. But they're playing well. Yeah. But my, my idea is h3, knight here, and check. And pick off the knight. Oh, that works out. We want a piece. We did it. And they resigned. But yeah, this attack can get very dangerous. Knight g5 and uh, you notice white's, white's queen is on the king side, black's queen is offside. So at some point, let's say here, knight g5 and like, we're only 14 moves in, but I might be winning already. Just by going for a bull rush technique like this. I, I'm going to remove the knight and checkmate on h7. Alright, let's go again. Okay. Alfie and Keto. Hey, stop copying me. I'm going to put my bishop here. I haven't done that yet. I want to provoke d5. Then this bishop is blocked by its own pawn. And the e6 pawn is weak. So I'm really trying to provoke this. Thank you. Now I move back. And now I'm going to... I don't know if it was good. But e6 is at least something I can challenge. And I'm also going to transfer my queen over. And I have ideas on g7. I don't want to trade... Nope. Gonna go d3 and kick you out. Like that. Okay. What are you doing with your knight? This is defended, pal. On my knight on d1. Why don't you go knight h6 and uh, allow an... Ooh, even better. They're probably thinking, takes, takes, they're safe. But I can just take here because bishop takes b2. My bishop's actually defended. Backwards, uh, knight. Perfect. Now we're just up a piece. Maybe more in a second. I'm threatening checkmate, by the way. I'm attacking the queen. I'm offering a queen trade. I'm up a piece, so I'm looking to trade queens. Looking to get into an endgame. And then looking to bring this knight back in the game. The problem with that is... I can take here. Check. King moves, then I take here. Now I go here, check. 
We trade everything. And I'm just looking to trade everything. Everything. And give a checkmate. Yeah. Go me. We'll go b3 with this bird. When they go bishop g4, I like to play e3 so I can recapture the queen or knight e5. But I don't want to let black take my knight. I'm curious, if I go knight here, what are you doing with your bishop? You're giving it up? Okay. Okay, I can live with that. I got the bishop pair. And I'm intending to use the bishop pair. Thank you very much. Intending to use this at the right moment. Let's start with queen here. Hitting this. Hitting this knight. One thing in the bird, it can be a little awkward to develop this knight, and you want to think long term, often transferring the knight over to the queen side. But the problem is here, it's a blunder. I can take this. Chomp. Check. That's a quickie. I didn't even mean to win like that. Bona vista! Good luck. We're gonna give you a stonewall treatment. Oh, okay. Stonewall treatment. That's easy to get from the bird. Take with the e pawn to open this bishop up, right? And then we just get ready to castle. Trying to hint at something on the diagonal, so let's play king h1. And what I like to do is transfer my queen over to the king's side and start initiating uh, attacks. That's a weakening move, sir. How do I punish it? That's a different question. Let's bring more pieces in. I'm trying to teach here. No blunders, please. Gotta bring this knight in the game. How about like that? It's looking ugly, hey? Ugly looking position. Bishop c4, bishop e6. Tricky. I can't tell if it works or not. But I want to open up my bishop. Whoa! What is that? What? Can somebody translate this for me? Okay. I'm gonna take that free knight. Thank you. It's the one move I didn't consider. I'm losing control. Hey, we're up a piece. No complaints from me. Let's trade. Let's open up. Let's bring the pieces in. Let's pin. Everything and anything. Please. Attack. I'm losing control. It's a nice song. Hey, Darkbone. Mm. I have a couple ideas here, sir. I have a couple ideas. Queen takes, knight f4. Yep. Knight f4. Oh. I have a nasty move ready, and I'm not sure if it's safe to play. 
that might not be uh, okay for kids to watch. We'll try it. Knight g5. We're gonna sack a knight and go for checkmate. We're gonna have to do it. Open up everything. Knight g5. Pawn takes, knight takes. I'm threatening that. I'm hitting that. Hitting a lot of things at once. That's a checkmate. So you have to deal with that. I said you have to deal with it, dude. I'm threatening checkmate. Try to defend. Checkmate! Juan Valencia. Cero tres. Good luck. I'll go for a more aggressive bird setup. And give away, give away my bishop for the knight. This this actually transposes to a Sicilian, but look at the dark squares, they're very weak. So I'm actually gonna, and this bishop's not very happy, so I messed up the pawns, and uh, this bishop is stuck behind my pawns, this bishop is stuck behind their own pawns. I'm playing on the dark squares. It's a closed position, it's a, and that means the bishops are not as strong. I'm gonna go b3, maybe even bishop a3. Oh wait, bishop a3 blunders knight e3. No soap dropping. Let's go queen d2 to make sure we don't fall for that. They might go bishop f8. Okay. I'm watching you. But I have bishop a3. g4 is coming at the right moment. We're preparing it. So I'm preparing to a3. Okay, here's a4, g4. g4 is coming. And now, what can we do? There's a tactic here. Who sees the tactic? Hint, it's a discovered attack. My bishop can attack. I'm going to sacrifice my knight on e6 for a pawn, hitting the rook and bishop to nab this knight. We win a pawn, and uh, every pawn matters. I'm going to bring my rook in to join the party. I'm using my king as a weapon. Uh-oh! King h7! Oh no! Oh no, there's a problem. That is not where you want to put your king. With a knight on f3. Uh-oh, blunder alert. Knight g5 check. Oh, Monifi. Nice meeting you in Norway. Thank you for the 58 months. Alrighty. Let's, uh... We're transposing a bit into a Sicilian, but it usually does pretty well at these levels. Especially when I might be able to win a pawn. But no, I wouldn't have won a pawn. Pawn takes, knight takes, queen d4 check. Gotta know your opening traps. But I am ahead in development. And I'm threatening checkmate. Dude! Rolf! I just said I was threatening checkmate. I got a big lead in development. I'm gonna have to do it. I, I have to, 10 moves. I like Norwegians, I'm not trying to beat them in 10 moves, but he didn't listen. Good game. Cube Master, thanks for the prime. Yes, it was nice to meet you, Monifi. 
And uh, everyone was nice. Bergen was a fun time. Norway was fun. I'll be back. I'll be back a lot more. F4. We have a gambit. We have a gambit, and I'm going to accept the gambit. Watch out, it's checkmate, so we have to stop it. I'm expecting G5. Some theory, perhaps. I gotta go G3 and cover up my king. I want to go d4 in a moment. Yeah. I just want to survive the opening. I'm just double checking and I think I'm okay here. I'm saying hi to the queen. Don't forget. I'm not done saying hi. If the queen goes here to pin, I'm going knight f5. My weeb opponent, weeb meaning an anime viewer, forgot about their queen. Potato chips, good luck. Let's get to 1800. And that starts with developing this bishop like that. Check. I have a better structure. I do. Because your pawns are messed up. Your pawns are uglier than mine. B3. Yes, this is a little weakening. My bishop's defending it. I hope it's okay. And I want to bring my rook here. Ah, he wants to go queen c5 check. So we got to go king. You got to shuffle the king. So there's no check. Well, that's a cute move. But there's a problem with it. I might be able to take here, you take there, I take here, check. I think that works for me. I think I can take here, but instead I'm going to go e5 first. Uh, this is winning, but I think this also works. e5 just to, e5 just to take away all their counterplay. I think that's, that's okay. Now we're introducing this again, but I wanted to shut down the bishop first. Knight a4, let's chase the queen. Let's bring the rook in. Let's chase the knight around. I'm pinning you. Yes. You like being pinned? Bit. I don't mind an endgame because I have a better pawn structure. Oh, this is a great song. Look at this bishop. Not good. Look at this knight. Not good. Look at these pawns. Not good. Where's your knight headed? Thank you for the pawn. Thank you for this pawn. That's two pawns.
That's three pawns. I appreciate that. Wait, did I miss something? Oh, I did. That's okay. I prefer the pawns. That's what... You guys wanted me to go knight d7. I would rather win two pawns than win an exchange. Oh, come on. That's your... I have... I have uh, three past pawns. That's worth more than an exchange. Come on now. Let me think about it. That's tempting for sure. Let's attack. Higher level of thinking here. Pawns break the spirit of your opposition. When somebody takes all your pawns, it's depressing. When you lose a rook for a knight, you can still win the game. But having no pawns... Having no pawns is like being sterilized. When you take somebody's pawns, they'll never be able to make a queen. They'll never be able to reproduce. That breaks the spirit. That crushes somebody. That that's 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 everything. Like I don't I don't care about winning the rook. Take the pawns, and they'll never ever make kids. That's the big picture. It's true though. It's fun to push pawns. Take that away from somebody and they play worse. Now we bring the king in. I'll take this later. Bring the king in. Rook a2. I didn't want to take because of bishop d4. But after bishop d4, then I go king e4. And I kick that bishop away. With the king. Nice little dad bod shuffle. I had to move up first to take away this. Boom. Boom. Check. They got some speed. It's not going to be enough. Good game. Well, you're one step closer to mastering the birds opening. To move on to the next episode, just click over here. And to stay up to date with all of our content, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also click the bell button, then you're going to get notified. See you next time.